tell show and do technique was introduced by now the tell show do technique is a technique of behavior modification it's a technique of behavior modification that was given by adelston in the year 1959 okay this is important now behavior modification okay so behavior modification is basically done in order to get the child to be more cooperative with the treatment okay so to make a negative or a child who is displaying negative behavior to start displaying positive behavior and start cooperating with the treatment in the dental office now this behavior modification consists of three techniques the first technique is desensitization the second technique is modeling and the third technique is contingency management okay and the tell show do technique comes under desensitization technique of behavior modification now desensitization is basically whenever a child has had a previous uh, negative experience in a dental office or he has had a traumatic experience so desensitization is where we want to remove that uh, response of the child or remove the thought process from the child that every time he visits a dental office he is going to have a traumatic experience so this is accomplished by first uh, relaxing a child okay so we should take him in a non threatening environment or something that is not going to remind him of his dental trauma and progressively more and more threatening stimulus is gradually uh, introduced to him okay so we won't immediately start the patient with any uh, comprehensive treatment which would uh, cause him any pain right so this in desensitization the first and foremost thing is to relax the patient and then gradually slowly slowly the least threatening to the more progressively more threatening stimuli is inter introduced so this is going to reduce the patient's uh, negative behavior because he is going to learn to substitute a response so that he will have an appropriate response for a particular non threatening stimulus okay so this is how desensitization works now the tell show do technique which also comes under the desensitization technique of behavior management like i said was given by adelston in 1959 now this technique is also known as the cornerstone of behavior management okay the tell show do technique this again could be asked as a separate question they have asked a question previously asking which is the cornerstone of behavior management so it is the tell show do technique and it is the most common and most popularly used technique okay so this consists of three steps tell show and then doing okay so first we are going to talk to the patient we are going to tell him or explain everything to the patient then we are going to show it to him and then we are finally going to carry out the treatment on the patient the objective of doing this is to familiarize the patient with the dental settings and also to all the various types of instruments that are going to be used so that he doesn't feel threatened or he doesn't feel they are new when he when it is going to be used on him okay so that is the objective of uh, using the tell show do technique so in the tell okay so this is the first step okay that is tell so here you are going to explain everything to the child okay so here there is more of a verbal interaction with the child where you are going to explain the procedure and all the uh, you know whatever needs to be done for his treatment you are going to explain all of this to the child first so this is all a uh, uh, verbal interaction with the child so while communicating with him it is necessary that the tone of uh, the doctor's voice needs to be soft but firm and confident okay and you should make sure that you are being truthful to the child and using a language that is understandable by the child right so you need to talk in most simple terms and explain whatever is going to be done to him the second is the show okay so in the show we are going to demonstrate with visual as well as auditory and olfactory and tactile sensations that are going to be uh, carried out during the procedure so in case you are going to be using an air rotor for the treatment you will show him how the air rotor works right you will uh, so that he gets familiarized with the sound of the air rotor so that when you are going to use it it's not going to feel threatening for him right so this way all of the things that are needed to be done for example if you are going to place a mouth mirror in his mouth in order to check his teeth so you will first show the mouth mirror to the patient and tell him like look at this this is a mirror i'm only going to view your teeth with this mirror 
you know so whatever is going to be used whatever instruments are going to be used or whatever procedure is is going to be carried out all of that needs to be explained to the patient first so that he is familiar with everything that is going to be carried out so that when we are doing it he doesn't have any sort of fear okay so that is show and the third aspect is do okay so by the time you reach the third step of doing the patient should be very comfortable he should be relaxed and he should know what to anticipate from the treatment that is going to be carried out so nothing new should be introduced that could be threatening to the patient right whatever was explained you need to stick only to that okay nothing new should be suddenly introduced to the patient also whenever you're going to talk to the patient while carrying out the procedure you need to do it in the same tone of voice that is soft but firm and confident uh, as you did when you were explaining uh, to the child okay so this uh, establishes a boundary between the dentist and also the patient so he knows that um, although you're being soft with him you're also being firm so he knows that he needs to listen to you so this is how we get a positive response and cooperation from the child